Hello there, and welcome to something uh, slightly different from the norm that we do here on Bike Ahead. One thing I've always thought for these 20 years or so I've been a motorcycle journalist is, or one thing I've rather valued, is whenever I've taken pillions on bikes. Whenever I've taken pillions on bikes, I've always had to provide kit or cobble together kind of what I have, and it always left me thinking, what do you kind of... Not everyday pillions. Yes, you've got the touring couples and the people who you know match up and all that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you're a biker, you want to take your missus on the back, you want to get her some kit. But when you give her that kit, what does she think about it? Does she have any clue? Do, does anyone even think about it? So what I decided to do was, with the help of an old friend of mine, is show somebody a bunch of top spec biking kit and get a completely uninformed opinion. Someone that doesn't have a clue, basically. So don't expect Hollywood blockbuster kind of levels of production here. It's me, a Kawasaki ZH2, a bunch of top kit, some slightly out of date editing software, and a very willing participant. So, let's see what happened. Hi Gemma. Hi Benjamin. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? Not too bad, thank you. Uh, Gemma, you're here today to do us a little bit of a favour because one thing we don't see very often in this biking land is the opinion of pillions on kit. Now, you're not a stranger to bikes, but it's been a long time, right? A very, very long time. How, how long since you were last on the back of a bike? Probably about 20 years. Okay, and I think you said something about borrowing some manky old leathers to... Yeah, I just chuck anything on, but yeah, that's the last time I went on the bike, I just borrowed some levers, which didn't fit me. Okay, well, let's say that uh, your partner has a bike, mm -hmm. and you're sitting there thinking, do you know, I quite fancy, I quite fancy going on the back of that bike, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe I'll end up liking biking and doing it myself, we, well, we know you like speed. So, <laughs> <laughs> isn't that the truth, isn't that the truth, you like to go fast, but um, I mean, if that was the case, you would need some kit. What kind of kit would you expect your partner, your, your beau, to buy for you? Well, obviously the best. I want protection, I want warmth, and I want to keep dry. Mm -hmm. But you don't actually know what you're looking at, do you? I haven't got a clue. Shall we get some stuff out? 100%. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Gemma, so we have plied you here with some kit. Okay, you've got some Rucker stuff, you've got Shoe Berth. We've got some Daytona boots. The, the, you know, you're kind of looking at this and you're thinking, oh, I don't know anything about this. I have not a clue. Okie dokie then. Why, why don't you have a look at the helmet first? What does it say to you? What's your, so imagine, imagine Bo gave you this. What would be your kind of first response? I think the stick comes to mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, exactly, yeah. But, I mean, does it, you know... Is it the kind of thing you're kind of looking at and thinking, would you think that looked cheap, for example? No. No, okay. I don't think it looks cheap. Okay, well, it's good, because it isn't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, now, you obviously don't know what you're looking for in, in a helmet. I do, like the in, I do like the interior, though. Yeah, I love the colour. This is my colour, completely. 100%. That is my good. Colour. And that is also um, a flip lid, so I imagine you don't put, you don't put helmets on very often. No, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't even know where to start to... Uh, all I would know is uh, that. That, okay. Well, actually, if you just pull that button right on the front chin, not that one, that's a vent. This one? That's the one. And then you can... Oh! <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So, yeah, so if one is slightly claustrophobic at all... Which I am. Well, there we go. Then perhaps something like a flip lid is the right thing for you. Oh, man, that interior is awesome. It is beautiful. It's looks like it? plush kind of 70s velvet type stuff. It's cool. Smart. Smart. That is cool. Okay, so happy with the helmet? 100% happy with the helmet. Excellent. Going. Right, grab something else. The trousers. Ah, now these are Rucker. Rucker, it's kind of, it's kind of known that when it comes to um, casual clothing, i.e. not um, uh, leathers, yeah. okay, so when it comes to your textile clothing, Rucker is generally considered to be the best. Yeah. Um, and that's because of the materials they use. They use so many different materials, but the absolute kicker is the uh, Gore-Tex Pro, which is amazing. What does any 
any, any thoughts come into your head? Any questions having to go at these trousers? And you look at anything and think, what's what? What the hell's that? What? Just there's a lot of zips on here. That's true. I just want to know what the zips are. Oh, and maybe that bit's to keep me on the bike. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It is. And I like these. Uh, just because I like... Braces. braces. Good old braces. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, a lot of the, uh, some of the zips will be for waterproof pockets. Okay. Um, some of the zips will be vents. So when it's hot, you can open. Uh, that's multi adjustable there as well. So you can kind of like tailor it to fit. Yeah. And some of them will be for vents. Okay. So um, if you get hot, you can whip them open. That's a pocket. Is that a pocket? That's, that's a, pocket. a pocket, right? Yeah, exactly. Got some stuff in there. Got some stuff. <laughs> so there we go. That right, is, well, that is, that's, I they mean, feel, I wouldn't say heavy, but they feel thick, warm. Does quality. it feel quality? Yeah. 100% quality. Then, then that is, then that is exactly what we are after. And they are some really good, they are some, they're obviously some really, really good trousers. And they're also kind of, they're quilted as well inside and they're waterproof too. Yeah. And they basically got absolutely everything. They literally feel like they've got a quilt inside them. Yeah. That's basically it. Cool. Right. Check. Have a go. Have we go on something else? So let's have a look. See what we got. Gloves. These. Gloves. Uh, also rocker gloves. Oh, these. Yep. Some decent knuckle protection there. Let's have a look at these bad boys. See, I can't even get into them. Yeah, you can. I have no idea. Yeah, you can. Okay. Right. Oh, these feel nice. Yep. Yeah. They fit right. They fit perfectly. I can actually move my hands. Mm -hmm. um, what does the kind of protection feel like? Can you feel? Can you, do Do you feel like your hands are protected in there? Hundred percent. Yeah. They feel snug, protected, and the main thing is I can move them. Some guys I've tried on, not necessarily mm -hmm. motorbike bike. Um, I do a lot of jet skiing, so you can't move your hands. And um, yeah, I can move my hands. It's good. Cool. You could probably use them on a jet ski if you really wanted to then. May just do that. Awesome. And then we've got some boots as well, I believe. Some Daytona, some Daytona booties. Now, I love these. Yeah. I am a, a big boot fan. Yeah. I mean, they, they don't really scream bikey boot to me. No. They're not chunky. They're slim, sleek and smart looking. Yeah. Okay. Now, have you tried these on yet? Because I know we gave this stuff to you a couple of days ago. So you've had a look at it, but you haven't had a proper look. No. Have you I, tried them on? I slipped them on briefly just to make sure they fitted. Okay. And uh, I love them. Oh, Didn't brilliant. Didn't want to take them off. Okay. And uh, yeah, I guess we're the, the, the jacket is the last, is the last piece. Which the jacket. Is, again, is another rucker item. Now this I love. Damn, that does look good. That. Smart, cool, the quality feels amazing. And yeah, I can't wait to get it on. I just realised, I just realised you're rocking the rocker t-shirt. That yeah. came, the, the, the rocker t-shirt that came with the jacket. <laughs> That's very good. I didn't expect that. That is a nice touch. That is a nice touch. Yeah. Now these jackets are are the bomb. Okay. So again, Gore-Tex Pro, Armour Core, just loads and loads of different. Um, te material technologies going on in these where bike heads, if they're really nice, will stick some kind of at the bottom of the screen here. So just to remind us, um, but you've got uh, removable linings in there and there's loads of adjustments. There's adjustments on the arms, there's adjustment on the waist. They're everywhere. Yeah. So you can tailor that to fit you absolutely perfectly. But looking at it is all well and good. What you've got to do is get it on. Let's get it on. Crack it. Let's do it.
Okay, there we go. Initial feelings on fit? Snug. Yeah? Nice, warm. Feel, I feel good. I like it. Excellent. That's it. Oof. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you've gone, you've gone straight for full face. No, yeah. no messing about. Pull the front up. There we go. Yeah. Look like a police lady. Woo! So yeah. far, so good. So far, so good. Excellent. Because actually, I'm going to make you put another helmet on um, because that's the one with the camera for when we go out on the bike. Now, are you cool with going out on the bike and seeing how all this feels? I'm excited. Oh well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Me. Oh my god, I can't even get my leg up. <sighs> oh! So first first time back on a bike checking out some new kit. I've got to say that was some of the worst weather I've ridden in this year. It's pretty horrendous. But the question is, are you dry? I am dry. Really? Yeah. yeah I, there's no there's no leakage. There's no nothing. I'm warm, and it's unbelievable. That is absolutely brilliant. So we're going to have to push this pretty far to get it. Well, your hair's wet. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> we're going to have to push this pretty far, aren't we, to get um, to see exactly how much it will take yes. to get soaked in I, this thing. I mean, that way it was horrendous. Yeah. No, it was really bad. What about the helmet? Yeah. Comfy. Comfy. Because I've I've changed the internal one. I've made it a little bit roomier. Yeah. Um, it's the same size as as your one though. Yeah, no, but you're happy with no, it? Yeah. Didn't fog like up? No. Even in this weather? Even in this weather. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. I'm shocked. I'm just bone dry. So are you so what you're saying is if boyfriend got a bike and wanted to take you on the back or whatever, this is the kind of stuff you want? Hundred percent. I would want to be going out in that that horrendous weather just because I'm not gonna get wet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that is ridiculous. So I could just go get my stomach from back there. Okay. Right. Wow. <laughs> 